I am here at Dr. Andrea's new office. It's been almost a year that I haven't uh, seen Dr. Andrea, so I'm really excited to get Botox again. Um, I'll also be answering some of the questions that you guys had on my last video. Let's look at our new studio. Welcome to Dr. Andrea Cosmetic MD. I am here with the one and only Dr. Andrea that if you guys have been following me, you know she's like my go-to guru when it comes to looking and feeling better. What I especially love about Dr. Andrea and her hand is that she knows exactly how much I need to keep me looking natural and keep me looking like a normal human. <laughs> Um, so before we get started, the last video has been doing amazing uh, and there are tons of questions that people are asking so maybe we should answer some of those questions. Definitely, let's do it. Okay, so first question of many, how long does it last? So Botox or Dysport, they're the wrinkle relaxer treatments that I use. They last for about three to four months on average, depends on the dosing we use and how much you move your face naturally, but typically it's about three to four months. Yeah, so it's been now about, I think a year that oh, I yeah. haven't. It's been a while. Um, so it did last me a little bit longer. Okay, so you said uh, dry spot. <laughs> <laughs> Dysport. Dysport. Yeah. What is the difference between All Botox right. and Dysport? That's a good question. It's a very common question that I get asked actually. So there's actually four different wrinkle relaxer treatments on the market. And two of the most common ones that I use are Botox and Dysport. So they're all just made slightly differently in the lab. They all have different amounts of the active ingredient, let's call it, or the toxin amount in it. Basically, it just depends what we're trying to achieve. If I want a lighter result, maybe I'll use one type of product. Or if I want a little bit more of an aggressive result that's going to last longer and someone has really strong muscles, I may choose another one. So it's just nice for me to have different options depending on what we're trying to achieve for my patients. So what if someone has strong muscles you would use? I would go with the disc port for somebody, yeah. And so at what age, people are asking, is appropriate to get Botox? That's a very good question. I have uh, a number of patients who uh, come to me in their 20s who want to start with some Botox or Dysport treatments. And as long as they have some creasing when they move, I think it's appropriate to start at that point. So let's say, for example, when they frown, they actually have some creasing forming. Or when they smile, they have some crow's feet. Or when they lift their eyebrows up, they have some horizontal lines and they're actually starting to form at that point and we want to prevent them. So the key is trying to prevent those creases from forming if we can catch them early enough. We're talking light dosing for patients in their 20s, of course. The problem is for patients who wait too long, they're like, okay, I'm ready now, their creases may be so deep that it's harder to correct them. So we have that discussion, so they just have to know they made the lines may not be gone, we can improve them, but creases don't go away completely if they've already been etched into your skin. So people are asking how many units do you use on me? Mm -hmm. So for you, we use about 65 units, um, and that's a fairly common dosing, uh, but the thing is that it really depends on the strength of your muscles, uh, the what we're trying to achieve if you want no creases remaining or if you want a really subtle result we can just tailor it to what it is that we're trying to uh, achieve for the results for you do men come in here and get about that definitely so uh, men come in for Botox, come in for filler, they want to look fresh. I find that the men that come in, you know, once we've done a treatment, they just look so much better and it can be done in such a subtle, natural way, like for you, that you still look like yourself, not overdone, of course. With men, often you don't wear makeup, so you really can't hide anything, whereas women have the luxury, let's say, of wearing some makeup to hide some things, men don't. So it's really nice to give men the option of feeling and looking better uh, with the injectable treatments too. Okay, the last question. Am I gay? <laughs> um, well, from my medical professional opinion, I think I'm going to ask you, are you? 
I think I'm gay. Okay, then I guess you're but, gay. <laughs> but again, guys, I don't think it matters if you're gay, straight, bi, black, white. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not about that. I'm sure you have, your clients are. Oh yes, I have patients of all walks of life, all uh, genders, sexual orientations. It doesn't matter because if you want to look better and feel better, this is the place to do it. Let's start this, let's do this. All right. This would be great at all. So, so do I scree squeeze Dr. Andrea when I feel pain? Exactly, instead of squeezing my arm, you squeeze your ball. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I wanted to squeeze the ball, but there's no pain. Yay! <laughs> okay guys, well, you've seen them before. Let's fast forward to two weeks from now. So it's been about two weeks and I didn't even have to go back to Dr. Andrea because my results are amazing. Uh, my number one thing was my crow's feet, so I'm always on camera doing selfies or talking on Instagram. And so every time I smile, it would just drive me crazy. But so this is completely gone. Uh, she did a little bit up here, so that's gone. And I'm totally loving it. Completely natural, I still have movement in my face. Thank you, Dr. Andrea. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, there might be a giveaway.